Agricultural tourism is something that's really going to keep moving in New Zealand. It's a fantastic way for us to diversify farms and to show people what we're about. There's a lot of hard work that happens here and the guys put a lot of care into what they do. Those are things people actually really want to see and really learn about. So I'd really encourage people to share those experiences with people as a business venture or just getting out and sharing, just opening the gates and showcasing what New Zealand's really about. We take for granted that we all know these things, but it's pretty neat to be able to share that with people. We're Kurt and Lisa Portis, and we're farming at Palliser Ridge in Purana. Palliser Ridge is a sheep and beef station in the South Wairarapa. We're about 1,500 hectares and the farm is owned by Jim and Marilyn Law and my husband Kurt and I are equity partners with them. The core business is run by Kurt and his team. He's got about three staff that give him a hand on the ground. I'm the expansion manager for Palliser Ridge. So I look after the diversification side of the business, the accommodation, tourism, honey, meat and wool. So any branded products that we send off farm falls under that category. Came from, so they know that it's come from 2019. Traceability amongst the products is really important to us. We're really hot on keeping things in New Zealand. New Zealand made, New Zealand processes, and that also allows us to keep track of all the hands that these products go through before they get to the consumer. Many of our products have QR codes on them and we like to direct people to the website. If they're looking at the honey, they can see the hives on farm. They can see Sam and his family extracting the honey. We might be sharing in February. We've got our local gang who we can sit here and video with. We can give them that knowledge of where these things come from. We invite people onto farm, busloads of you know 30 to 60 coming out into the wool shed, watching some shearing, watching the dogs be run up and down the hill and, and watching them in action. We're very fortunate at the moment to have a crew who really embrace that. You know, they'll get out there and do the sharing and make a cup of tea for someone and just talk to those people about what they do here. But we don't run tours every day of the week because the boys would never get any work done. It's fine. So who's having coffee? Jim and Mel have been really great with letting us establish the budgets and, and run with these businesses. They are very much hands off and, and leave us to it, which is really neat. Quite often you'll see Jim out grubbing thistles in the paddock or you'll see Marilyn coming along to knitting group. There's probably not a lot happening on the farm that they don't know about and that's just because we all sit down and, and chat about it. Equity was never on the table when we first got here. We're so appreciative of it being an option for us. It's really changed our lives. Kurt's always had a love of the land and a love of farming, always knew that that would be in his future probably didn't realise how much of it it would be in mine. It's been really special for me to find my own place on the farm and to find a way to utilise some of the skills that I had in, in previous roles before I worked here. Yeah, see what I mean. We've been doing the, the two sides of the business separately but together for the last few years. So that's a balancing act. There's a lot of work conversations that happen at the dinner table. But look, we also get to bring the kids to work with us and we get to live in this fantastic community. So. I can just see this being somewhere that we'll be happy for a long time. <laughs>